Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to register the sidebar. In this video, we're going to talk about the anatomy of widgets. And we'll talk about how to register a custom widget. So we discussed that there are default WordPress widgets that are already available, but if you want to register a new one, create a new one, you can do that. And this is exactly what we will be talking about. Okay, let's take a look. So let's say this is the widget. The first item that you see over here is the title area. And the second one is basically your widget options. So generally, this is how a widget looks like. Now, in the front end, this is how it will be displayed. You have this is the text widget, this is the title, and then you have the content that is coming in from here. Okay. Now, when you're developing custom widgets, and you want to create and display widgets, the first thing you do is basically create your widgets class. So there's a class called WP underscore widget, which is a WordPress core class. You can extend that class and some of its function to create the widget and display it. Then the second step will be register your widgets so that it's available in the widget screen. And lastly, you just have to make sure that your theme has at least one widget area which is called sidebar. So we already discussed that sidebars are the area where we can add widgets. So you need to make sure that your theme has the sidebar registered and it is actually displaying that. Okay. So ideally it's just two steps, but yeah, you have to ensure the third step is met. So let's talk about first step. So the first step is extending the WP underscore widget class. So how do we do it? So we say class and whatever the name of your widget is, you give that class name and then you extend the WP underscore widget. There are certain functions which are available in WP underscore widget, which you can then override. For example, the construct function, uh, which where you put the actual widget process. Then you have the widget function, which takes arguments and the instance and it outputs the content of the widget. There's a function called form, which again takes the instance of the widget and outputs the options form in the admin. So basically the function form is responsible for what you see in the backend, in the dashboard. And the widget function actually takes care of what you see in the front end. The update function, on the other hand, takes care of what options that are need to be saved into the database. So we can actually save the data into the WP options table when creating the widgets. The next step would be to register the widget using the register widget function of WordPress. So all you have to do is create a custom function and inside of which you call the register widget function and hook it to the widgets in it hook. And inside of the register widget function, you need to pass the name of the class. In case, if you are dealing with namespaces, then of course you have to prefix it with the namespaces, which I will demonstrate in some time. Okay, lastly, you just need to make sure that your theme has a sidebar uh, and it's already registered and it's already displaying that. So we did discuss that in the previous video. If you haven't, you can watch them. I've explained how to register a sidebar and how to display it. But here is a glimpse of how it looks like generally in case of a general example. So you go ahead and add a sidebar. So basically register a sidebar using register sidebar function. You pass in a few parameters like name, ID, description, etc. And then you call that inside of a custom function and then you hook it to the widgets init hook. And then there are two options to display it. First, either you call you create sidebar uh, .php file and you put you call the dynamic sidebar function inside of it. And then in order for you to include that template, you just call the get sidebar function or you can directly call this active sidebar you just check if the sidebar is active and then you just call the dynamic sidebar function to go ahead and display that okay brilliant now what we're going to do is we'll we will start creating our widget okay <music> Oh, 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 oh,